What's up? Boo! La 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 la. Gang, what's up, Taurus? What's up, baby? What's going on in the life of a bull between the first and the fifteenth of December? Changes is upon you. Are you ready? Are you ready? I said, changes. Boo gang is upon you. Don't be scared, though. They're great changes. So this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of bull. Gang, did y'all like my little boo jetto, little, little pop back? <laughs> I get ratchet sometimes, especially after hours when I can't fucking sleep. Here we go, though. <laughs> this will be from the 1st to the 15th of December. Um, If oh, this is your first time to my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, I may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to go find another beautiful reader on YouTube that will resonate with you better without cussing. Okay, because this is my shit and I'm a cuss. All right, so, so thank you everybody for all of the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Y'all, I truly appreciate every piece of love and the support that you guys give me i'm truly appreciative y'all we growing fast family thank you so much to the new subscribers y'all welcome to the family we are dysfunctional okay we may fuck around and cry all right we don't fight and fuss we leave that shit on other people's channel but we do love we share we grow we evolve we enlighten okay and with that we we, we only want to attract positive vibes only this is not a person. It's a general. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. All right. So, you guys, the energy that I felt with you all, just to quite, just really be honest, quite, you know, just to be honest, was a feeling of, where's my money? And anxiety around it it's just like it's 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 kind of like a feeling of i know what i need to do and the way that i need to do it the the comfort around it you know that i'm used to is not working for me so i'm having to change and having to adapt to change even though there are spirals of shit that's going around me every day and still trying to maintain my chi. And Taurus, I feel with a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are very intuitive. You have this knowing, this inner knowing, and you're 100% sure and in tune with yourselves. However, you don't speak your truths. You hold them. You sit on them. You give this non-vulnerable like energy yet you're really hurting on the inside and it's time for you guys to really extract that energy and really go through a deep period of a transformation a lot of you guys are going to be going through um, some type of spiritual awakening during this time so your eyes may be working a bit differently and it's not for you to hold everything because holding that shit how has that worked out for you in the past holding all the shit that's hit me like that think back I wake with with my girl uh but well, when Betty right oh now nah, you remember and we eased it right on by now yes we did look here you can no longer ease it right on by now you don't know you can't okay so you're gonna have to get it together towards there's this balance there's a shifting and there's this sense of adapting being receptive as well as standing in your authenticity and i've been talking to y'all about this for quite some time but that energy is really 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 pulling for me during this time okay so between the first and 15th of december i see a lot of you all are really wanting to manifest this feeling of love but more so with the foundations of 
friendship, trust, loyalty. Okay, I feel like a lot of you all have recently had some form of a tower moment or some form of a aha moment to really just make you feel like shit. Enough is enough. I am done. Like it, when I say done, I mean the capital D, the E is capital, and the O N. It's on. I'm done with that shit. I'm for real. Like a lot of y'all are done with some things, and I feel like during this time again, a lot of you all have this all-knowing however there's a need for you to trust the fact that you're divinely guided and being divinely pushed to speak your truths and speak that knowing as some of you all are empaths and intuitives as well as light workers and light workers and it's a part of your spiritual path but i feel like a lot of you all are going on this journey and i feel that you're seeing obstacles from an external view or surface view, what the hell is going on circumstantial or situational wise, but some of you all are able to go to sleep and really see the damn spiritualist not a, within the circumstances. Some of you all as well will possibly be um, communicating with your higher self during this time. And I feel like a lot of you all, it could actually take place while you were sleeping or in some type of meditative state. Some of you all have had, some of you all during this time are going to be having issues with your children, especially if you have um, a teenage boy. I feel that, again, same. It, it, I, there's a feeling of a disconnect with this. I feel that there is some form of a disconnect. If your child is beginning to act out, especially if this child is a Pisces, if this child is a Gemini, if this child is a Virgo, and if this child is a Sagittarius, he may have some issues during this time. Um, and I'm feeling like it's more having to do with, you really need to have a conversation with this child. Because for some of you all, your baby, how can I say it? Look to your children for your answers during this time. Some of you all have some very intuitive children. And I feel like they're, they're also having a spiritual awakening. However, it's is projected is being projected from an angry level um or, or or energy of like angry and or aggression or oh, towards this could also be something that you need to heal from when things get overwhelming you begin to get aggressive with your external it's okay to be passionate truly okay but it's levels to that shit okay sometimes when you catch yourself in a fly off the handle you gotta pull back and Catch your cheek. Okay, there's a need to, I'm hearing grounded. There's a need to ground yourself during this time. A lot of y'all are very passionate. And it's and you're really, really, really being pushed towards whatever it is that you're passionate about. Not settling for that nine to five ass job where you half ass like the the secretary with her rude ass. And you half ass, you don't even want no neighbors. You just like, hey, could y'all not see nobody over here? Just for a second, just give me at least a month. I need some, some some alone time at work if these people shit. <laughs> the nerve of y'all. But Taurus to do it, though. Okay? So I feel that a lot of y'all are really needing to truly, truly, truly ask yourself during this time, what is it that I want to do? What are my dreams? What are my ambitions? For some of you all, you've had a dream since you were um, an adolescent or a young a teenager or a young. I feel like even for some of you all, a young child. It's really about you. Trusting in yourself during this time to move toward those passions because I'm gonna be honest with y'all, a lot of you, a lot of your successes that are to come going as we move forward into 2019, all of that, all of them damn successes is gonna come from change, but it's really, really, really going to require you to not be afraid and to truly be willing to jump off the cliff, okay? Some of you are empaths. During this time, a lot of people are going to be coming to you for advice. And a lot of y'all are going to come to that realization and be like, oh, shit. Because I had that realization myself. Oh, shit. This is why I've gone through this shit. This is why I've had to go through these roller coasters and really, really, really trust in myself to free my damn self. Because, jeez. I can eat. It's kind of like a each one teach one. Pay it forward. 
Help another. Help your sister or brother. It costs you nothing to share your love. It costs you nothing to encourage someone else. It costs you nothing that if you see somebody making a mistake that you know costs you so much of your time to get right or for that matter, build your value that you look at yourself with. With particular situations. It costs you nothing to stop and say, hey, you fucking up. You may not want to do this. Because some of y'all are very intuitive. During this time, your energy is going to be very sensitive. Some of y'all really, really want to uh, become tarot card readers. Some of y'all are empathic. But I feel like there's this sense of, what is everybody going to say? What is everybody going to think? Are they going to think this? Are they going to think that? What does your heart speak to you? What does your soul say? Because I don't know about you, but I ain't going out with no damn woulda, coulda, shoulda. I'm a, <laughs> This life won't owe me Nathaniel. Do you understand me? Taurus, it's okay to be happy. It's okay to truly step out on faith. A lot of y'all praying, but you're contradicting your own damn prayers with your belief system of lacking and feeling like, oh, well, maybe not me. Not today. Negativity will only attract more negativity. Let's shift that. As above, so below. You can have whatever you like, baby. But you got to be willing to shift your mindset and how you're willing to look at it. Some of you all don't want to deal with your feelings. Fuck feelings. I don't want feelings. I want to smash my neck. Give me the diamonds and pearls. But you really need to deal with your emotions. Because your inner self is needing a little TLC. This feeling of loneliness is not, not enough. I'm not enough if I don't have this. It's not enough if I don't see that. You really learn you really needing to be grateful for the things that surround you during this time and really see abundance in a new light. What are you grateful for? Just like you can come up with the damn thought, quick, fast, and in a hurry, what the hell you ain't got? What do you have? What are you grateful for? That is the question during this time. And see only that. And when you see only that, will you be able to see? The shift that the power of the mind created to us. Some of y'all worry about what is everybody going to think? What is everybody going to say? But spirit say it's time to take that damn mask off. And see situations and things for what they are. It's time to take that mask off. And see that you have a higher purpose in this world. And fuck what they have to say. They, people are going to talk whether you broke or you balling. It's just what people fucking do. People shit. So you have to be accepting. Know your truth. Stand in your truth. And accept the fact that if people are not willing to stand in theirs, will they come for you due to their own fears? But that has nothing to do with you. That's between them, their inner self, their higher self, and where they want to go with their life. And unfortunately, Taurus, even though you like to control things, you can't control certain people. And you, you can't control the actions of people. And you can't control what certain people choose to make the free will damn choice to do. Certain people are chaotic. They live for chaos. When it's peaceful, they unhappy. They find something to complain about because it's just I'm, but that people shit. So you're having to rise above. A lot of people shit, but it's gonna lie, it's gonna require you to take the mask off and see things for what they are if you're really willing to, if you're really desiring to change certain circumstances, situations, and even the people that's within your damn life in your circle, period. Some of y'all push and reset. Let's start over. I see it for what it is. I'm done not wanting to see this. I'ma take the mask off, then I'm a, I'm gonna take the blindfold off, and I'm gonna take that. Stand to take that acknowledgement within the self to know, oh, shit's really fucked up. I got to fix this. And this is how it starts. It starts here. Give yourself that time. You worth it. Let's see what's going on for my babies in love. I felt this energy of like, 
really fiery. A lot of y'all are feeling very, very, very passionate. A lot of y'all are in love. But you, re you really want to live in the ego. Stop it. I wish I had the belt. You can't buy shit with it. Cut that out. Yeah. You have my toys. In love. Whoa. Okay, the first one, 15. Thank you. Okay. Some of you all could have recently moved away from someone. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a water sign. Some of you all is a Pisces. For some of you all, it's a Sagittarius. Some of you all, I feel during this time, you want to move towards a Sagittarius. Or a Sagittarius will be coming towards you. For some of you all, you want to move towards starting um or renewing a relationship possibly with someone who you possibly have children with. But some of you all, some of y'all are, some of y'all are going to be finessing people. Like some of y'all feel like you're entitled. Like, like some, I'm literally feeling like an energy of like pain and suffering. Like some of y'all are returning back to people just to finesse them out of what you felt like they owed. Oh, they took from you. It's like, I forgive you, but I ain't forget shit. I'm going to get your ass, Mr. Postman. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all are really wanting to shed. You know, you're really wanting to start over, especially when it comes to love. Some of you guys really want to hold on to um, uh, Aries person. I feel like you really want to manifest that. You want to move towards offering love to this person because I feel like you've been being patient for some time. Some of you all are possibly having to start over and some of you all have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person trying to hold on to you and I feel like this person could be helping you financially during this time but trust what you feel about this person's intentions because I feel like this person is like it's it's a feeling of emotional warfare I strongly feel like someone knows that you're kind of needing them during this time and so they're 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 offering you financial assistance but as soon as you up and leave or tell they ask you going on a date you're gonna see a whole nother side of that person i don't give a damn how cool how cool ashton is tell ashton you're going out on a date and ashton's gonna show up with the google locator and slash your fucking tires try ashton just try ashton okay some of you guys want to move forward some of you guys are having to start having to start over during this time. And you're just moving forward. You're just really choosing to nurture yourself. Some of you all are really uh, moving forward towards a relationship with a ooh, with an air sign. For some of you guys, you really want to move forward, possibly um with an Aries with this Emperor card, or some of you guys want to move forward towards um some of you all want to move forward and towards starting your own business and actually taking that leap of faith and jumping off the cliff good shit towards some of you all need to let go of that lack mindset of i don't have enough you know it's not going to be enough well you beating your own damn self up and you can't quite believe in miracles because when i was really meditating on y'all energy and really 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 just digging in and, and just on my on my best empathic shit i truly felt the energy of when I say shifting, when I say believe in miracles, Taurus, believe in miracles. But it starts again with your belief. I just told, I believe, um, uh, Leo that. The power of the mind. Okay? Thought word action. Think well, speak well. So be it. As long as you get your ass up and go get it every day, then you can definitely expect it. And don't limit your expect don't limit yourself by holding certain expectations. If you plan if you're praying for a financial blessing, if you're lighting money candles, if you're doing certain moon rituals towards your finances, why the hell are you only seeing what you don't have? Contradiction. You're not allowing spirit to truly work. What you want to do? What side you gonna stand on? The left or the right? Some of you guys are moving away from an area as well. Or this person, maybe you've been waiting for, um, maybe you've been trying to manifest this person back. This person could have moved away from you. I feel that it had to do with someone not being able to nurture the relationship. Maybe um, this person felt that you were holding on to them for monetary value. Some of you guys are victoriously moving forward or letting go of something toxic and then moving forward and taking that leap of faith and trusting yourself and the divine and the God that is moving through you, boo, and actually moving away from 
possibly a fire sign, okay? And knowing that you're you, that you're spiritually protected, that you're guided, at, that you're spiritually guided and you're spiritually protected at all times. Some of you guys want to move towards having victory with a fire sign, but you feel like this person have a lot of options. Some of you guys could have, especially if you're dealing with the water sign, some of you guys could be juggling um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and a Capricorn towards Virgo, or if you're dating either of those signs, that you could be the one being juggled, seeing that you are. Alright, some of you guys have a water sign in your energy, and I feel like some of y'all made a water sign, or making a, some of y'all in the past could have made a, water, made a water sign a choice, an option. I feel like you wanted victory to move forward with that person, but it's just a level of toxicity, and you set your boundaries with that person. And I feel like now that you're really wanting to move forward and truly fix it, now you're coming back and you're realizing this person got options. And I don't really feel, and for some of y'all, some of you guys, you just really want someone new. You don't even want any of the options that you have. Some of y'all could even be cutting off the options during this time. Some of y'all could also, um, some of you guys could be leaving a Leo out in the cold. Or could be leaving someone that you have children without in code in the cycle. And I feel like for some of you all, you could have recently taken a financial loss or you will be. Um, especially if you have some type of like business connection with this person. Like if their name is on any type of legalities, I feel like somebody coming for y'all coin during this time. And it's not to be afraid. It's for you to be logic, logical. It's for you to be strategic. It's for you to be analytical, but for you not to dwell in your feelings about it. Like, how could you? How could you? Because it's people shit and it's what people do. And you got to expect things from even from the people who you wouldn't expect it from. Anything is possible. We are just puppets in this show. The universe, God, spirit runs the, runs the program, okay? They got the whole PA system and all of that shit set up. That We, we just here, okay? So let me get some clarifiers. Spirit, why is the magician card here for my sword? Yeah, some of y'all, some y'all want to move forward. Some of you guys want to move towards um maybe starting something new uh with the fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius. Some of y'all miss y'all Sag, baby. Tempest card here. Some of you are. Some of y'all could. Oh my goodness. Some of y'all could have could have had a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, who could have actually been defensive toward you after leaving you out in the cold, after finding out about some type of pregnancy. Like this person could have found out you was pregnant and left you out in the cold. And now that this person is trying to come back towards you and give you an apology and renew the situation and actually be responsible and nurture the relationship, you don't even trust them. You just like, once disloyal, always disloyal. I don't trust your ass, but you holding on to it towards you have to forgive. I ain't say forget shit because it's lessons learned to move us towards our blessings. I'm saying let it go as far as the heaviness. Ain't that shit heavy? Some of you all want to hold on to a water sign. I feel, Or you have a water sign trying to give you love. But I feel like you're not trusting them during this time because you feel either this person feels like you have a lot of options. So there could be like reckless communication or somebody just really throwing slugs to kind of like make somebody feel less than to kind of make them want to stay. When really this person also has some slight intentions because they depend on you financially. Some of y'all are making a decision to move away and some of y'all are finding out that somebody holding on to you. Not because they happy. I feel like there's love there. They tired of the arguing as well. They want to move away from the, from it, but they're also afraid to be alone as well as they fear the risk of losing that financial security that you bring. Some of y'all could actually be uh, doing this too with the water sign. Some of you guys could definitely want to move towards um, Taurus men, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, woman, strong, Aries, and Leo, where everybody here. Some of you guys, when it comes to work, I feel like some of you guys really just, some of y'all got this like defying your belly when you're at work. You're like, I'm fucking tired of this place. Like, I feel like y'all are really fighting y'all selves to quit your job. 
For those of you who are business owners, business will pick up. Please do not give up. Please do not be discouraged. Please keep going. Spirit is saying move forward, move forward. I do feel that there's something I'm hearing about advertising and marketing. Some of y'all got to stop being so damn cheap about going about pushing your business. If you're not going to, if you're going to invest in anything in this damn life, never be afraid to invest in yourself. You will never let your damn self down. Failure is not an option. And even if it is. Don't take it as a failure. Take it as a learning lesson. You understand? A stepping stone. We have to, before we succeed in anything, we have to be willing to accept the fact that we may fail. And even, it's how, it's not how we fail, it's how we get the hell up and keep pushing. That matters. That's what brings that, that, that perseverance. That's what pushes us forward towards victory. That's what really builds that character, that morale. Why is this queen of swords here? Yeah. For some of you all, it could be definitely be someone that you have um, a child with. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, it's definitely someone in the past. This could be someone who you actually made an option. You want to start new with this person. You could This person is feeling rejected by you. So I feel like even though there's a lot of love, this person is really just going to set clear boundaries. Like, no, you know, I don't want this anymore. And I feel like intuitively... For some of you all, you're making this person an option because there's that comfort. You know that that door is open for you to always go there. Um, for some of y'all, this person knows that you're their soulmate. They don't know what type of soulmate. For some of y'all, it's a karmic damn soulmate. Some of you all could be moving away from a younger earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you all are uh, possibly moving away from a fire sign. Um, who's coming to make an offer towards you. I feel like you and this person could have children together, but I feel like they really kind of come in half ass because they're still juggling, juggling a situation, possibly with the, um, a earth sign and a water sign. Some of y'all really have two, two soulmates to choose from. Some of y'all are juggling between a Leo and a water sign too. Two soulmates, and I feel like you want a new beginning. But for some of you all, you're really fighting the fact of Really trying, really truly accepting love because some of y'all could have recently gotten out of a situation. And I feel like some of you all want this new beginning, but at the same time, some of y'all are really entertaining all these damn options that y'all think y'all have. Some of y'all cutting them off because you know they ain't shit. But some of you all, you're very indecisive when it comes to a Leo. I feel like you left this person out in the cold before. And I feel like you love this person, but I feel like there's a whole lot of arrogance and a whole lot of control. For some of you all, you feel neglected or rejected uh, when it comes to a situation having to do um, with children. Some of you all are leaving the cancer out in the cold. Some of y'all are moving away from the cancer. And some of y'all could be moving away from the cancer and starting something new with a Leo. But I feel like you really in your feelings about making this person feel rejected. Because I feel like in order to have this ace of cups for some of y'all it is with the water sign for some y'all everybody on the board okay but some y'all are going to be required to leave comfort during this time to move towards fulfillment and what you see is abundance and be unapologetic about the shit because of what really makes you happy it's not everybody else can't walk in your shoes if this is not everybody else's path and you have to accept that because trying to control your life, their life, let them control your life. It ain't heavy towards that shit has sh should have this year should have shown you and shaken your ass up and woke you up to say, I'm tired of this shit. Because if it haven't, this is how you will be moving into 2019. New shit on happiness, fulfillment, abundance. But it's going to require for you to leave something toxic. Require for you to leave indecisiveness, fear of vulnerability, fear of commitment, fear of being hurt before it even happens. Stop making people guilty for other people's crimes in the past. Heal that shit. Let it go. Speak your truths. Forgive. Don't forget shit, but take, take, the, take the lesson from it. And allow yourself to evolve, baby. For some of you all, some of you all have a toxic connection to um and Aries. I feel like you love this person but the relationship is just simply toxic and both of you guys need to realize it. What can my tourists expect during this time? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So it's a lot of y'all gonna be standing in your own truths and your own power. 
Some of you guys are going to take a leap of faith towards popping the portion, or some of you guys have an Aries about to pop the portion to you. Some of you guys are going to um, take a leap of faith and possibly be, uh, get engaged with the water sign. I feel like some of y'all been in y'all head. That decision is very burdening because I feel like even though you know that this is your truth, this is what you want to do, some of y'all may be treating, some of y'all really, really, really know that you're going to have to cut off the connection that you have with a Leo in order to do so. And some of you all may choose to be single, but I definitely feel like you're going to need a fire sign. This person, I feel like it's going to start with in and out energy. You really have a sexual attraction to this person. This person has a sexual attraction to you. There is a lot of passion there, but I feel like beyond passion, it's very fast moving, but it can end as fast as it started. And for some of y'all, it's definitely a Leo, okay? So this is what I have for my Taurus. I do see a lot of reconciliations. I see forgiveness. I see lessons. I see truth. I see authenticity. I see love. I need to see allowance and acceptance. Okay? Because I'm going to get the damn bill. How about that? All right? <laughs> so this is what I have for my tours between the 1st and the 15th of December. Um, If you need a personal reading, that information is below. I love y'all. Much love. Much light. Namaste.